Hey, it's Richard from Android Central, and this is the latest oversized smartphone from Huawei, the SM Mate 7. So while the Mate 2 was a more mid-range offering, the Mate 7 is shooting for the top. It's big, it's thin, it's made of aluminium, and it feels every bit the premium smartphone. The screen is 1080p at 6 inches, and it's bright with good viewing angles and great colour reproduction. The version we have here has 16GB of internal storage and 2GB of RAM with a micro SD card slot for expansion with Huawei's own octa-core Kirin 925 CPU inside. Uh, around the back is the single touch fingerprint scanner which unlocks the phone with, you might have guessed it, a uh, single touch and this can be done with up to five different fingers with the data stored securely on the CPU. On the software front the Mate 7 is running Android 4.4.2 KitKat with Huawei's own EMUI version 3.0 running atop it. The on-screen buttons have been made to look like forthcoming Android L with the square, circle, triangle design. And as with Huawei's previous phones, there are customizations galore. Once again, there's no app drawer and there are a bunch of Huawei's own apps and uh, customizations within different areas of the system UI. The concept for EMUI 3 is space, dots and lines, with apps containing panels accessed by directional swipes across or up and down, and there's a lot of circles and lines in the overall design. Uh, one example we've got here, the camera can be accessed in the gallery app by pulling down from the top, and then you can just simply take a picture and go back into the gallery. Speaking of the camera, the Ascend Mate 7 has a 13 megapixel shooter around the back, and a 5 megapixel selfie camera, as they're calling it, uh, on the front. Both take pretty good images, and the camera app is largely well designed, but with one particular uh, annoyance, uh, and that's the settings menu here, which, as you can see, doesn't rotate to landscape mode, which is a little frustrating when you're looking for something quickly, or you're not shooting vertical pictures. Different shooting modes in the camera app are accessed via simple swipes, and there are a bunch of built-in filters for both front and rear picture shooting, including Huawei's beauty filters. The SM Mate 7 is an excellent Android phone by any standards, and it's going to be exciting to see where Huawei goes in 2015. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.